This video is on types of certificates. Digital certificates are pretty much electronic credentials. It is what facilitates secure electronic communication and data exchange. Most of them are issued by certificate authorities and are used to verify identity of the sender receiver of an electronic message. There are various kinds of certificates and they are used for different purposes. First, we have the wildcard certificate. Wildcard certificate has wildcard character asterisk in the domain name field. This basically allows the certificate to secure multiple subdomain names pertaining to same base domain. For example, wildcard certificate for example.com could be used for www.example.com, mail.example.com, store.example.com, and so forth. When a client checks a subdomain name in this type of certificate, it uses shell expansion procedures to see if it matches. Then we have subject alternative name, send certificate, which is an extension to the X.509 specification that allows users to specify additional host names for a single SSL certificate. It's kind of like wildcard certificate, except while wildcard is used for subdomains, SAN covers multiple domains like example.com, example.net. Then we have code signing certificate. Code signing certificates are used by software developers to digitally sign apps, drivers, and software programs as a way for end users to verify that the code hasn't been tampered with or compromised. It basically ensures that the code that you got are good to go. Then we have self-signed certificate, which are certificates not required to be signed by certificate authority. Self-signed certificate is an internal certificate that is signed by the same person bearing the certificate. It's mainly used for web server that is only for internal network of the company. This way the company does not have to pay for any external certification authority. These certificates are then installed on every device and web servers within a network. Then every person who connects to the web server will see the internal certification authority signature certificate. Next, we have machine computer certificates. The purpose of this certificate is the authentication of devices so that the authenticated devices can communicate over the web. Certificates signed by the certification authority are placed on the device. So if any unauthorized person tries to connect to the network using a VPN, they will not be allowed to communicate over the web because that particular person will not be certified. Next, we have email certificate. This basically permits us to send email securely by encrypting the information to the other user. It uses recipient's public key and allows only the receiver to decrypt the information in the email. Next, we have user certificate. It's a certificate that is usually assigned to a single individual. Most of the time, this is integrated into a smart card or digital access card. Then we have root certificate. A public certificate is assigned to the root certificate authority and its purpose is to identify the root certificate authority. Everything initiates with root certificate in a PKI infrastructure. It is a root certificate that issues an intermediate certificate or another certificate. In public key infrastructure, the root certificate is the most essential. If somebody gains access to this root certificate private key, they could generate any type of certificate. Then we have domain validation certificate. These certificates are low cost certificates that only require validation that a company or person can demonstrate control over a web domain for which they want to secure a certificate. And lastly, we have extended validation certificate. The idea behind this one is to provide a high level of trust and security than most regular SSL certificates. Basically, it provides a higher protection of data. It is usually used when you want to communicate a high level of trust to users such as shopping carts, login pages, and other sensitive front-facing pages.